I don't know. For me, NIP is is just a colossal unknown in this series. That it could really be anything. I have no expectations for them right now. You'd imagine they're going to be trying to lean more on the individuals, at least with Wrinkle, right? Like I can't imagine he's. I don't even know how long you know they've had him in the office or whatever it is that they've they've got. He was in their announcement video, so unless they've done some movie magic, presumably they do have him on location, but. Still a big challenge. Meanwhile, this Monty team has played uh, games together as a roster, right? They've been playing their Challenger League games. They've also got some consistency in the calling with Waro. Although I'm sure they're missing the input of SDY. Oh, but that's a nice start for Alex. Every pistol round gets easier. If you're just hitting headshots. And Rez is certainly beaming out a couple. Demka under pressure. Demka stays alive longer than perhaps he should, but eventually he does go down. Just one man. Position revealed. Were you under threat? Reads it nicely that he's getting flanked this week. And oh my goodness! They, they have him planted? They've just given him the fights! No bomb plant, no round! What just happened? That was a massive advantage. They had the bomb site. Oh my. That is not a good look for NIP to start this series. Exist. Probably head in hands wondering what just happened. Here from the off. So Monty strike first, and of course, as you're saying, there's also actually no bomb plant, which, as we know, second round's gonna be so potent. Galil's AK is in hands, but that's not a possibility. It's gonna have to be an eco. And yeah, that was a pretty rough viewing. For those that have just joined us, Wrinkle was announced just a little bit earlier, half an hour, an hour ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for this team, uh, Maxter was world. announced. I want to say Maxter was announced last week, or something around then. So for people watching at home, everybody here minus Blue Phoenix should be a lock based off what we know to progress on the active lineup. Yeah, at least with Maxter and Blue Phoenix, and I mean Silence before Wrinkle, there was existing chemistry within the organization. They come from the Young Ninjas team, right? They've played, Rez has played on that roster. They've played with the Red. Like there's some synergy at least, but it is still very fresh. But well, we are seeing this taste shape. And so at this yeah. point, you've got Maxter, Swede, you've got Rez, Swede, Wrinkle, Ukrainian, Alex, Spanish. So the question is, do you stick with Blue Phoenix or do you go for another Swede and try and get a majority Swedish lineup? I wouldn't have thought there's any advantage at this point. It's not like there's Sweden only tournaments or qualifiers. Mm. There's the Svenska uh, Cup. There is the Svenska Cup. But as a... As a, oh my lord, okay. This Hold is on. getting a little bit oh dangerous. My goodness. What is happening? Okay. Uh, okay, Warhol's going to be able to bring that through. We're seeing some serious gaps here. This is going to be scrappy Counter-Strike, Alan. I yeah. think is, is what we're learning from these first couple of rounds. This is going to be a scrappy game. But within that, I expect Monty to be cleaner team. Um, that's not really how they roll, though, is it? No, it's. I guess that's true. But how does NIP roll at the moment? We have no data. We have... Not a lot to base it on, but as we're saying, four out of the five here on NIP should be on the lineup in the long run. So there are some answers to be gleaned in this qualifier. How is the team set up? Who are the star players? Who needs to perform for this team to function? Uh, freshman on campus. Maxta has found a massive gap. Krasnow is down. Uh, what is going on? Players are out all over the place. Monty don't know how to react. Mm. They got sucked into this outside fight, right? So they brought Ryu out. They brought a player down secret. They were so focused on it. And meanwhile, well, they've lost out. This is a save. It's got to be. There's no real option to it. No path back in. Mm. So they'll fade off of it. Early gun round goes the way of NIP. A little distraction, a little misdirection outside. And the quick hit upper. It's nicely done. Yeah, I'm guessing... Gives me as the outer player for Monty, and I'm guessing Krasnal is asking some questions, isn't he? Saying, How did a player get in mini? Mm. Krasnal's an experienced player. He's played a lot of top level nuke now. He He's not someone that's going to get blindsided very often if he has all the information at his disposal. That just looked a little bit unusual to me. Keep an eye on it. Hmm. Comms always the trickiest part of new teams. 
And on a map like Nuke in particular, so many positions that you just have to trust your teammates' comms or you're getting shot in the back. I think we're going to see a lot more rounds like that from NIP as well. Individuals mm. making moves because that requires less team play, less coordination, doesn't it? If it's one player calling around himself, um, that's going to be a lot easier to pull off. We have to assume that NIP as this five are on possibly zero practice or very little. Um, so it's tricky. I mean, it's, I guess it's a bit of a surprise they pick Nuke, isn't it? Given that it's going to be difficult to run set plays, I'd have thought. Got some uh, interesting news coming through while we've got this pause here, Alan. Forza have benched their entire roster. <laughs> They've sold Result to Aurora. And the Shalfi Tanir Kokushima Celta team is now benched. That's really disappointing. I like that team. I like that team too. I like that team did a they lot. have a? Am I? Did they have a pro league spot? Um, didn't they? They won Challenger League. Last... Yeah, that would be for this season. Give me a second. Let me confirm that because that is indeed correct. And you, I'm quite certain you have to maintain a majority roster to retain that spot, like what Spirit Academy did um, with the promotions. That's crazy. Yeah, they had a full Pro League spot. I wonder if they'll let the players just play Pro League without the uh, work. It's not long. They're going to be playing in, what, three weeks? Yeah. Three, four weeks, so... I remember yeah. us interviewing Shelfie about Kokushima. That was this team. That was this pro league that they qualified for. Okay, back into the game. Waro's under threat. He hears the tick of the Molotov. That's a nice tip off. Gonna get a kill, gonna get away. Big blunder there, perhaps from Rez, but equally Waro tries to dip back in. You don't double dip. The oh, gives me. Gets the chip. The bomb's now down. You're right. Gap made and a push through lobby. This is gonna be so weird. Krasnov's going through. If they could stall out Maxter, that will work. But by that same token, Gizmi might get flanked out here by Blue Phoenix. And indeed, that seems like what's going to come to pass. So it's a question of whose flank strikes first. And the answer is Krasnall. Oh, Blue Phoenix is going loud. That's a blunder. Gizmi had no idea. But now he's on high alert. He spotted Blue Phoenix getting past. His teammate is maybe called, hey, bro, you saw him. But it doesn't matter. Gizmi will get the last laugh. This is some really scrappy Counter-Strike, as you said. This is getting chaotic, and players spread out, individuals making moves. That easily could have been the um, the Blue Phoenix flank striking first, but timing not with NIP. And they're out of money. So Monty, irrespective of whether the, the clean is round, I think win this and keep players alive. Sunny, they're in such a good position. Three players are aggressive on Alta. Gives me with the opener. Ramp reaction got surely space. to come. Yeah, so they got space, but Monty should know what's going on right now. They need to just funnel lower. I mean, the vent drops come through, but there was a definite window here. They just, they can't quite believe that there's no resistance. Understandable. We're expecting something here. There's nothing. That's the old Demka in control. But he's even playing it passive. This is a prime opportunity for a bomb plant. Krasnall's floating lower. The longer they wait, the more space that's cleared up by Waro, who's now checking lobby, the more resistance there's going to be. And at this point, well, the jig is certainly up. Still got Gizmi playing a bit of contain. What can Demka get? Only one dink on the second. But now with players rotated down, bomb plant's looking like a riskier prospect, and they still haven't done it. They still haven't actually got this thing planted down. Wrinkle's now going to try. And he's going to be given the space to do so as they want to wait for this ramp peak to come through. Speaking of which. We're getting active. And okay. The double swing in towards double doors. The attempted pinch. They had to do something. Respect the effort. But it's not going to matter in the end. Starting to feel a bit disjointed, isn't it? 
Same as the pistol round. So much time between taking the sight and getting the bomb down. Yeah. It it's... rings to me. The ring I the, the feeling I get is the communication just isn't there right now. There isn't, you know, uh, once you play together long enough, there's, there's a bit of, you know, not everything needs to be said and people understand their roles. At the moment, it feels more like, unless Alex is taking control, I guess, not a lot is happening and people are starting to hesitate, which, which isn't surprising. It's kind of what you'd expect, I think, uh, given where the team is at right now. Game secret. Oh, there's the spot. That was the bomb as well. So that's the tip off. Ramp player should dump down now. Imagine there's a responder. It's just going to be Waro for the moment. But Ryu close to joining him. You do have a lobby or a, a late ramp lurk, but gives me set to pick this up. Could split A. Could, could come up the vent. We'll go back up secret. It's a good setup to deal with it though, right? You have Dimka back site. You've got uh, Krasnall in second vent. Yeah. The only weak point is ramp right now for Monty and that's the position they're not focusing much on. Does want to be a split A. Coming through mini. Good flash or good molly rather. Perfect timing. Now time's getting to be an issue. You've got a player in heaven to reinforce this setup. Monty in the right place at the right time. We gotta hit some shots. That's not usually their problem. And for Krasnall, it certainly won't be. This is looking really good. Finally some clean rounds too. To build up some economy. And then IP have some questions to answer. I still am a little bit surprised by the nuke pick. I think it's a tough one to make work for a brand new team. A late buy as well from Nip. Look at this. Still in spawn. Okay, a stop call must be. Must be some sort of tech issue. Hopefully we're not here long. I assume Alex is the problem. This name's not Keo. Speaking of people who've uh, undone the problem allegations, how about Alexi B? Making a lot of rosters feel pretty foolish with that major win. Yeah, I don't think there's any, been any doubt that he knows his stuff. Um, and there absolutely is an element of, as a leader, be that you know the in-game leader or equally the coach, even a general manager. There will be teams they function well with. There'll be teams they function badly with. There will be... It's not a given that, you know, just because Glaive has a bad period on the end of Astralis doesn't mean he's a bad leader. It means this team is no longer a good environment for him. Mm. And we saw that on ends. And I think for Alexi, he's... The, the, the likely truth of it is on, on ends, the original finished lineup, it was, you know... Uh product of their time or playing an unusual brand of Counter-Strike, a few freak upsets as well. Probably raised his stock a little bit too high. He had to catch that up. He was always playing, playing catch-up over the next few years and gets his opportunity on G2. NIP clearly didn't work either, but when he gets onto a project that hasn't got quite as many eyeballs, when he's got more choice over the players, mm. I assume Alexi chose the, a lot of the players on that Na'Vi team. Uh, I'd imagine a well, lot of had, it's Or had a heavy hand in it. Let's put it yeah. Way. Alongside Blade. Um, yeah. He's in a better place now, and certainly with someone of Blade's caliber behind you, that's going to do a lot to shore up any deficiencies, any 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 problems you might have, or equally allow someone like Alexi to focus more on his individual game as well, because Blade is going to bring so much strategically. I 
what do we got in this one? Need an IP to start to show us something here. Because it's not exactly been the most inspiring so far. No. Late smoke wall. Yeah, they're setting up something here. Alex to throw. Try and get Rez forward, presumably. But it is just Rez to move behind us, so this isn't exactly a full secret take. This is presumably a lurk out Rez and then maybe try and split the ramp. There's a moment where this was the softer setup, but now Gizmi's here to reinforce or use committed in. Here comes the exec. There's a flash. Peek. Kill. Ryu's rebuffed. Nicely done. The swing in. Forced out by the Molotov. Ryu's in a tough spot, but he's still gonna get two. Oh, nicely played from Ryu. Three total in the round. Back against the wall. Teammate cut off from him, and he still delivers. And now it's just left to wrinkle. They got nothing going for them. No. Credit to Gizmi as well. Of course, he doesn't get the frags, but... Um, his flash buying full blinds the first player in. Holds all that attention. And a really great one. Bonte, team play-wise, are uh, looking like the much more solid unit to me right now. And, yeah. For NIP. Maybe they need to start calling some pauses. As we're saying, these qualifiers are... Pretty thick and fast. You lose this game, you might be playing another pretty sizable name in the lower bracket. You could just be out today, so... Of course, for a team like NIP, they want to play Eon Shipping. They want to play as many lands as they can with this new lineup. Hmm. Especially as Valve ranking becomes more and more important as we progress towards the end of the year. Got to be playing a lot of tournaments. Indeed. Uh, loser of this will play the loser of blessed game religion. Uh, I will confess to not being super familiar with this blessed roster. Bondic being the name I know most. Um, but it's a game religion as well with some changes. Brought over Slend. Brought over Andu. Or stand in from Atlanta. Now promoted up to the main team. Emka under pressure. Emka under pressure. Down for not a lot, but his teammates are going to pick up the burden. Okay. A moment. But it's only a moment. No bomb plant again. Krasnow picks up four. He's been popping off in yeah. some of these rounds. Yeah, that first gun round where he was blindsided by a player flying into mini. That was Maxter. And since then, he's just been on a trail of vengeance. Doesn't let anybody onto that A bomb site. How many bomb plants have NIP even had? My gut says like one or two? I think it could be zero. Going back to check. No, there was one because there was a diffuse. All right, one bomb diffuse. And there was one on B where it was a retake. It was the one where they took ages to plant and then when yeah. they did it, it was already a two on four or something. I think they've had one bomb plant here. That is not good for your economy. Not ideal. So important on T side as well. Once you're near or at max loss bonus, that plant is the difference between a half buy and a full buy. So, yeah, it's just compounding. Just compounding. Struggling for entries as well, I bet. Fresh on Alex. Find some gaps in this defense. It's their map pick. Remember, this could be a pretty short series if they can't make new competitive. Okay, there we go. Monty getting a little frisky, a little aggressive. Crash though. <laughs> Just goes for the same peak on the same angle into the same player, but a much different result. All right. Like it for Krasnall. Has Wrinkle disconnected? Nope, no, he's on move. No, okay. no, 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 no. Good. He's setting up smokes outside. It's all good. And look at how focused they are outside. Nothing's gone wrong here, but Krasnall, oh, he brings so many things right. Golly, he's good. He is sharp right now. And there's still a player up in the Raptors. Ryu gonna punish, drop that bomb. Alex, one with the flank means his time is up. This is brutal. 
Krasnow is just, it's just destroying them. My god. Again, another uh, another round out of plant. Just can't sail these sites. Made a bit of a window there. It's just Krasnow on the site. But. Just formidable. And the buy here. They're kind of forced up, haven't they? One AK, four Galils. What point does desperation seep in as we just. Desperate for gun rounds, Wrinkle finally gets them a man advantage and. You have to convert this if you're NIP. You can't give up any more rounds. Cat hasn't learned his lesson from the last. Kind of wants to go for the same peak, but this time he's going to find a vacant lobby. They do have a lot of space down here. We're almost under pressure. He's fine for it. Oh boy, the ramp pressure holds up as well. There's a second lurk in towards ramp, but need to activate very quickly here. Rez is running out of time. Master, you got to do something. Got to alleviate this pressure, and you won't be able to strike in time nothing doing again a man advantage a 5v4 tons of space and still nip don't even walk away with a bomb plant let's give ryu some credit too yes he's the ramp player krasnow he's the door player he's always gonna be the thick of the action he's he's either fighting an a hit he's he's in midi helping with alter he's dropping lower in vent he's always going to be in jewels the ramp player is a different story. It's normally one of your more supportive elements. He's rarely going to get good engagement. And he's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And I'm surprised NIP's leaning towards ramp because they have not got past this man in a good situation yet. Mm, dink him up. It's through the box so he lives for the moment. That's a start. At the very least, Krasnall, dude. He's just hunting at this point. Just trying to maximize his fights. Ryu, despite being low, still finds that. Now Krasnall on the scene. This man's been the boogeyman. This man's been Baba Yaga. But this time he's gonna be silenced. Demkin gives me what do they what do they want to do? They've shifted down lower to respond to this, but NIP are trying to vacate, trying to disappear in a puff of smoke. Well substitution jutsu here for the ninjas. But as they move up, Monty will respond, will adjust. Gives me pushes into lobby. They're so active, Monty. They really are. Demk has walked all the way up through secret. They've got a good read now that this is going to be A. They just know. They just trust their instincts. They trust their moves. And I believe that bomb plan will have been heard. So Gizmi's going to wait for his teammate to get into heaven. Here comes the check outside. What's Wrinkle got? Gives me trying to distract the nade finds the kill. Oh my goodness, Dem Kakora in the corner, and you've got this round wrapped up with a bow. There it is. Patient as ever. Monty with the reads and Monty with the round. Starting to look really good, isn't it? At least they got a bomb plant. What are they doing? Oh. Silver lining. Is they boosting for an orp or something? Doing something. But they've got money, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Eventually decided, you know what, maybe we will in fact plant this bomb. Well. The best thing I can be, if he can do is two. This is their map pick. You line up or not, this is not how exist Alex envisioned the first few days of his new project. No. No. Whereas for Monty... I mean, Ryu, he's played, he's played a, a fair amount of, you know, top 100 Counter-Strike. This is his first real stint in the top team, and he's played 
brilliant this map. Krasnow's been absolutely formidable. Mm. I mean, they've got big shoes to, to fill as well, right? The new guys, Ryu and Gizmi. Yeah. SDY was, in many ways, the, the, the tent pole around which this team was constructed. It felt like he did a lot in terms of not just calling comms, emotional leadership, but also fragging. And Bro as well was really blossoming as a player before his move. So... Mm -hmm. There's a lot to be replaced here, but so far, in this map at least, encouraging. Oh, Raz. Oh, what? he flicks! Gives me one and see if he can get two! I don't know what just happened there for Rez, but you gotta pull that trigger, Gives me. You gotta take what you got! I think laugh it off. This got such a massive leave, Monty, that you can't get in your head about it. I mean, it's not done yet. Krasnall's alive. That is true. There's no Molly either for Waro. He can get some fights. Now he's trapped. Ryu down. There goes Waro. It's just Krasnow. He's been brilliant. But this is too much to ask. 10 to 2 at the half. Monty have been monsters so far on Nuke. Nothing else can compare We're back. We are back. Monty NIP. And it's been all Monty in the first half. It's been pure domination in the first half. There has been no real answer from NIP. Yeah. 
mean, just look at the scorecards for Ryu and Krasnow up against Nip. <sighs> it is, uh... This is a, 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 a spanking. A spanking, one might say. Yeah. Well, came into this series saying, what lessons are we going to learn? Where are these lineups heading? And right now, I am grappling for something that's a positive here for NIP, but I can't find it. Max is having a decent game. Apart from that, they need to change this tune a heck of a lot. Oh, this is going to be a very quick game of nuke. Okay, Rez, collecting a little bit outside. There's a path towards the lower bomb plant, though. Maxer will try and address this. Into decon he goes. But actually, they don't want to plant just yet. They've taken this position. They're trying to get some more kills, trying to light the way. Ryu's still up top. This feels like it's going to be a little ring around the rosy action, and Maxter might get caught. Ooh, he spotted. They've led him around by his nose. They've got the A psych. There's no one who can do anything about this. And while there will be a bomb plant, there will also be a res kill. So advantage back in the favor of NIP. Still, it's Ryu and Krasnall. It's the two guys who've had nutty first halves. They've been hitting nothing but headshots. Gonna need three more of those. First player up the vent. Ooh, first shot hit. Not getting more. All on to Krasnall. Just a Glock. And they're shutting the door in his face. So rude. Maxter. 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 So rude. Just locking him on out. But finally, a round. A much needed pissed around for NIP. Say that again. Good round for Rez. And there's a lot of games to go with this lineup, or at least the core of this lineup. But when we look at the players that are going to champion this team forward, I guess it's Rez and Wrinkle looking at his potential star players. So, nice to see Rez getting a bit more engaged. He certainly needs to be one of the better players on this server, I think. For NIP to be competitive. Still got bomb down. AK out on Waro. A couple of Galils as well. Smattering of Util. And certainly of old lineups, Monty. Potentially as much as any team in the world were dangerous on these sort of buys. And I wouldn't count them out of this one. No. No, certainly not. Do you so at your own peril? Especially with the bomb plant. It's just a lot of room to work. Speaking of which, Alex. I'm gonna go for a little peeky check. Doesn't want the sustained fight. You're not with the MP9 at that range, but whoo that's a nice HE. The problem for Monty is press. they've used a lot of their nades and they haven't actually, you know, fully fretted across down secret. Mm. Got one smoke left on Demka. This is a tough round. A clean entry would help them a lot. A up huge on the roof? amount. Create some mm. space. If they have a player up on T-roof, which I think they do, then I think this is... Well, it's a little bit of an A-fake, actually. They are, in fact, just rocking in towards ramp, but it's a double setup here. It's a good setup here. Oh, my goodness. It doesn't matter. Krasnall and Ryu, the usual suspects, locked them down. And they're very fortunate Maxter didn't actually press that flank because he would have been a dead man. I'm getting planted. Ryu's getting kills. Well, he's finally been claimed its advantage for the moment, at least onto Monty. A little desperation spam here from Decon. As Maxter and Rez desperately try and get back into this round. There's a flank on. Oh, Maxter reads it. Okay. Hold on. Flashbang's out there, out in the open. It's all just on a one man. Gives me. With the weight of the world on his shoulders, the first one found. And a reposition. Rez trying to chase this down. Can't do so. Bomb's planted. He's just going to stick it. Gives me. Got to pull him off. Got to pull him off. But he's done exactly that. Monty win the force by NIP in shambles. That was very well played in the one on two. Recognizing the time. Um, a good read as well if somebody was calling out no kit. Because there wasn't one. Wow. Krasnow. There were two players ramped there for NIP. 
They had information. They gambled. You know, they, they, they loaded up ramp with numbers to stop exactly what Monty did. And Krasnow just domed the first player. He's been phenomenal. Look at the call. First player down the vent. Two more down. Bomb is lower. Monty are not slowing down. Feeling like it's wrapped up with a bow. Flanks on flanks. You don't even know where to look. Krasnow's still out here. Okay, that might have been too much. Nice kill for Rez, but uh, a Galil saved is not exactly the most glorious of consolation prizes. This is dominance. Where'd it go? Drop down. Oh, okay. He's got it. Does he? Where'd it go? He... Did he shoot it out of the map? No, he's it's actually him. there. Okay, he found it. It is actually possible, you know, if, if like the bullet connects, usually not with a CZ, but if you connect with the gun after it's fallen out of their hands, you could presumably launch it over the fence there. Fortunately, not quite those acrobatics mm. for res. They, I was about to say they need to buy him. Of course they do. <laughs> Nine map points for Monty. NIP's pick. Anubis historically the best map for this core of players, let's say. So they're feeling pretty good right now. And if you're NIP, I mean, you just want to play some counter strike. You've been brutalized in this map. Nine is almost certainly too much to ask, but at least get some feeling back in those fingers. Feeling might just be pain. Oh, first one found war away. Needs to chase, but Maxter, if you really try and chase this up, there's some danger waiting for you. Meanwhile, all this time, Gizmi taking space, making moves outside. He's just got a Mac 10. Not really the ideal gun for this fight. But there's no one for him to fight with, so what does it matter what gun he's got? It's in the secret. Maxter wants to make a play. Is he? He's inside of the smoke. Maxter wants to make a play. On the smoke fade, here he goes. Oh no, the walkthrough. Blue Phoenix strikes at the same time, gets away with two. That's straight robbery. They're getting weird with it. They've got to get weird with it, but they're getting weird with it. And oh no, Waro has walked all the way through the A site. The problem with flanks on flanks on flanks is sometimes you're left with nothing on the front. They know where Blue Phoenix is. He's running out of bullets, but a wrinkle up the vent has brought this in. And a bomb plant actually is starting to become a risky prospect. They need to get this bomb down. Alan, they've only got 15 seconds. But where's Blue Phoenix going? What's he doing? Bro. Oh, did he? He was out of bullets. He was out of bullets. Oh, He's my genuinely Lord. out of bullets in the CZ. Has to be the case. Otherwise, going back, wasting this time for a USB. Oof, that's going to sting. That's the danger of the CZ. And now out in the open, just no kind of firepower to deal with this. 13 to 3. Monty have done it. Chaos in the last round, for sure. But what does it matter at the end of the day when you got the W? Yeah, I think uh, that was a great map from, uh, from Monty. I think rightfully so.